Hey guys, I just wanted to jump on here again. I had to do another grocery haul. Um, I plan to do everything Mexican meals next week. So. And I plan to make a big slow cooker pot of pinto beans to make into refried beans and red beans and rice and burritos and everything else we're gonna have a full week of mixing meals so we'll see how that goes my kids actually love Mexican so they'll they'll probably enjoy this week to the fullest so let's get right into it and I am shopping at Walmart so I spent sixty four dollars and seventeen cents and this is what I got this week. My budget was actually $65, so I was right down to the wire on that one. So yes, I'll show you what I got. So, I had to get some more eggs, so I opted for the large eggs, because they was actually like 20 cents less than the extra large. It was like $1.80 for 18 eggs so that wasn't too awful bad um, I also needed another loaf of bread and like I said I'm planning to do everything Mexican this week so I got two bags of rice and rice for the red beans and rice and burritos and probably some Mexican rice as well um, hey Embrace you being nosy you being nosy? She's being really nosy. So, if you hear in the background, that's her. Um, I got a bag of pinto beans for uh, the refried beans and red beans and rice. I got two of the Mission 8 count taco shells. My family likes those. Um, I got four and a half pounds of hamburger that should be plenty um, like I've told you on several occasions that I love to stretch my meat for Mexican meals by adding beans um, pinto beans refried beans sometimes I even add in chili beans if I have them so my family is really used to the flavor they don't seem to mind and it actually stretches the meat quite a bit so if you're on a frugal kick and you're trying to stretch your hamburger meat for the Mexican meals or whatever try adding beans to that because it gives you extra protein as well as stretches the meat quite a bit I also got some sour cream and some uh, Kobe and Monterey Jack cheese. Um, I had to get a gallon of milk because we were running kind of low. Um, as well as, um, I know it's bad for you, but I did get some Diet Pepsi and a Diet Dr. Pepper for myself. Um, I got the bag of tortilla chips there we go for nachos or uh, taco casserole like I said everything Mexican so we're gonna really do it up this week um, my son specifically asked for the Takis he likes those and he also chose the flaming hots Doritos Personally, I don't know how he can handle it because it's kind of hot to me. But he likes those, so I got those. Um, Gatorade Zero. Um, Arizona Sweet Tea. And another Gatorade Frost. Um, I got some salsa for our Mexican meals and I also tend to make some wet burritos which is like one of our favorites I believe I have a video 
of our wet burritos. So if you want to check that out and see how we make those, I'll link that in the on the page for you here. Um, my husband specifically asked for some chewy chip. Actually, he asked for chip ahoys, but this is what he's getting. And I bet he doesn't even complain. And they were actually a dollar cheaper than the Chip Ahoy, so yes. Save some money there. Anywhere we can save it, we try to save it. Um, the kids asked for some zebra cakes for their lunches because they, they ran out of snacks for the lunches, so I got two boxes of zebra cakes and an oatmeal pie. Now, I actually got two of these, but um, it's late at night. It's like 10.30 now. I was shopping pretty late, so um, pop one of these babies in the oven and we'll be good to go. So one of those is in the oven now, and I'll put this other one in the freezer. So, that would be good to go. And we will see about adding the recipes for the Mexican meals. I've actually got a, I've got to finish. I'm making, like I said, I'm making a big pot of uh, refried beans and red beans. So I'm just going to throw these babies here in my, uh, well, I'm going to soak them overnight. Then I'm going to throw them in the slow cooker so they're nice and tender. And then um, I'll probably try to hook up a video to show you how I make my homemade refried beans and red beans and rice. And um, let me know in the comments if you would like to see that. I would love to hear your comments on um, any recipes that you'd like to see that you're curious about. Get down, Embrace. She's being extra nosy. Get down. Thank you. Thank you. Um, but yeah, in the comments below, uh, please let me know uh, what kind of videos you'd like to see. If you'd like to see some recipes on how we make some of the things that we enjoy. And we will try to make those happen. And being on a budget of $65 this week was really extra, extra challenging. So that's the reason why... I came up with everything Mexican because I know that I can stretch those meals with just four and a half pounds of hamburger and I can actually make a good five or six meals out of that believe it or not so you know we will see how that goes and I do have some fish in the freezer too I believe but um, I'm not a fish eater I don't know about you but I am just not a fish eater I really don't care for seafood my family loves it I don't know where they came from they didn't come from me because I hate fish the only fish I can even eat is maybe some breaded shrimp or tuna that's it. I don't care for any other fish. So yeah, I don't know where they came from. They're just odd. They must have really took after their father there. Anyway, <clears throat> that is my haul for this week. And I will let you know how it goes. If you haven't subscribed, and you like the content of my channel please subscribe I would love to have you in my family and like 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 please 
like my videos for the algorithm. I really appreciate it. And I really appreciate all of you. You're so wonderful. And that is it. Have a good evening.